Hey guys, welcome back to the show. If it's your first time watching, please like and subscribe. We're gonna talk about Aaron Rodgers and the frustrations in Green Bay. Look, Aaron Rodgers is frustrated. I mean, he's been there for years. Large contract, over $150 million in previous years of money. The teams are changing. He's lost talent. He's got young rookies in. He's having some issues. I wanna talk about the problems that he's having. And so Aaron Rodgers is there. He wants to win the big day. He just hasn't had that chance to do it because he's just not getting there. And I don't know if you want to say it's because his players, his teammates, but now he's lost his main target, Devontae Adams, who's now obviously gone. And he's having some issues being able to sustain a team and build the foundation around him. And being that he's was ready to retire years ago or people have talked about it or there were rumors, Having him on this team at this point in time getting blown out by the Vikings, I mean, they got blown out. It was in the third quarter, and they were down by 20 points. I mean, this isn't the way Aaron Rodgers wants the first game to go. I know the Green Bay Packers don't want it that way either, but I'll tell you this right now. The Green Bay Packers have to step it up because there's major concerns, major concerns in Green Bay. And Aaron Rodgers has been there way too long. He's a veteran, and he's someone that can lead the team and at this point in time, if you sit back and just talk about what's there, what do the Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers have on their team? You know, what's going on in the locker room? Is there camaraderie? Is Aaron Rodgers down in the dumps? Because when I watch him on the field, that energy, that excitement, all that, that, that you know, the morale that he brought to the team years ago was unreal. And at Lambeau Field, if you watch, if you've ever been to Lambeau Field, that's one of the best places to play in all the NFL, in all football. And right now, Aaron Rodgers has more than issues because he has to answer to the media now. He's one of the best in football, but he just can't get to the big day. And I'm not saying that they got beat by a, a crappy team. The Vikings are a good team. So let's not forget that. The Vikings are a good team, and it's only week one. A lot of people are gonna be talking a lot about week one. It's only week one. So let's just talk about that too. A lot of teams right now are having issues getting beat in the first game. You saw the Cowboys got rolled over by, you know, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. And, and when you're watching teams get beat early on, a lot of times you have major, major questions. And again, I wanna pull this up because this is the major problem. Him losing his go-to receiver, Devontae Adams, that was the guy that he threw the ball to when in doubt. Anytime Aaron Rodgers had to, had to let that thing fly, he threw it to Devontae Adams. If he, had to, if he had to just do a quick flip to the right or flip to the left, it was Devontae Adams. And right now, that receiver is in Oakland. So actually, Las Vegas, I apologize. They're in Las Vegas. I'm still trying to get over the Oakland Raiders, get over the, the, the Washington Redskins, which are now the Commanders. I mean, that's awkward too. But in general, if you, if you take a look at Aaron Rodgers as a whole and the player that he is and the leader that he is, it just seems that he's shaken up by the opportunities around him right now because they're, they're too young and, and he's got to teach them and he's a coach on the field and there's too many things that he's trying to do. And I think if he slows down and they put some veteran receivers around him, some players that have had the talent, they have the ability to learn the playbook quicker, and just people that have experience, I think it's gonna help his frustration level because this could be his last season. This could be Aaron Rodgers' last season in a Green Bay Packer uniform if he retires. I mean, he's got a big contract, obviously, through 2024, but I mean, it just seems like this could be uh, the ticking time bomb. I mean, I'm not saying that the, the Vikings are bad, but they made them look terrible. They made the Packers look terrible. And I don't think that for a second in that film room today or the film room tomorrow, the Packers are going to get over that anytime soon. Doesn't matter how good or bad the team you got beat by is. When you get blown out, there's a lot of questions in the locker room. And guys, I hope that Aaron Rodgers, for the sake of football, can be around a lot longer because I love watching him and Tom Brady's of the world. But it looks like if this kind of gameplay keeps happening throughout the season, this could be the last time in the last season you see Aaron Rodgers play football. Please, guys, like and subscribe. 
and share. Until next time.